There is risk in this, in the job of leadership. And your people expect you to take risk. They expect you to take risk. And when they see you're unwilling to take risk, you're sending a signal to them that you do not have trust and confidence in them. And unfortunately, there are too many or so many leaders that equate risk to, I'm going to fail. And if I fail, the consequences will be great. So I don't want to take any risk. But look at it the other way. You take some risk and you succeed, the rewards are even greater for their organization, for the individuals involved. It's a, it's a mindset about risk. Now, I'm not encouraging people to take foolhardy risks. You want to take smart risks. But taking risks is part of the business. And you know, what do you think are the most challenging risks to take? Risks with your people or risks with the business or the mission? And I'll help you. It's your people. Because people are, are crazy. <laughs> you don't know what people are going to do. Now, sometimes accomplishing a task or a mission is a little challenging too, but at least it's usually constrained. People are not necessarily constrained. And so sometimes leaders are very hesitant to take risks with their people. Um, the, but it's counterintuitive because I have seen it throughout my career. When you take risk with your people, they are less likely to fail. They are less likely to fail than when you are unwilling to take risk with your people. And I believe the reason for that is when you take the risk and they understand you're taking a risk, they appreciate the fact that you have trust and confidence in them and they don't want to let you down. They don't want to let the organization down. They don't want to let their peers down. They don't want to let anybody down. It's when you won't take risk that you send a signal to them that you do not have trust and confidence and therefore there's little commitment on their part when they're put in situations that can go one way or the other. I've often heard leaders say, prove to me I should trust you and then I will. Not a good approach. I believe the right approach is I trust you and have utmost confidence in you until you prove to me I shouldn't. But right out of the chute, I believe in you. When people hear that, see that, know that, my experience is they will not let you down. As a matter of fact, they will astound you with what they accomplish.